this opportunity and challenge is so varied. Um, it's a chance to get my teeth into something very different and it's a chance to test my experience. You know, I'm renting somewhere up here to start with, um, but we will be, uh, you know, we'll be looking to buy somewhere in, in the area as soon as we can and get settled as quickly as we can. So I think that's, you know, that, that's part of the, of the thing. It is a long-term plan. Um, and I want to be part of that long-term plan and I want to be settled in this area rather than uh, keep travelling the motorways and living out of a suitcase. The thought of challenging for, um, for all, of the, uh, all of the competitions is something that you know, is exciting and I think that you know, there's a, a good squad here that can challenge for all trophies. Um, yes, you want to play at Lords in the final, yes, you want to be challenging for the championship come September um, and you're going to need your best players and someone like Chris Wokes at the start of the season you know, hopefully it will be available to play and hopefully can you know, inspire a few of the, uh, the other guys. With people like Bell and Wokes, you're looking at them as you know, inspirations. They're, they're people that you want your other players in the squad um, to be motivated by, to look at them and think, I want to be like him. You know, I want they're, they're role models and, and they're fantastic role models. They're two people that, you know, they're exceptional professionals. They know how to win games of cricket. They know how to perform at the highest level. And when they're in and around the team, you know, here at Edgebaston, you want other players, younger players, to learn from them, to see how they practice, how they prepare, how they talk about the game, and you want to use them. So, you know, we're, we're very lucky to have two people like that in the setup. This is a time, great time to come into a club. Things are going well, things are moving forward. Um, and, and the team, the first team in men's cricket have been promoted. They're in the division where they want to be, where the members want them to be, the supporters want them to be. And it's a chance to challenge for trophies. We want to win and we want to be successful. You know, I, I haven't come here just because it's, you know, it's nice on my CV. I've come here because I want to be part of a successful winning setup. And you know, as I say, off the field everything's in place. On the field, the, the men's team have been promoted. Um, Laura's doing a fantastic job with the women's setup as well. And having Dominic involved now, you know, I think is a really good move. Um, and, and I think it's it's good to have former players in and around all of the teams. You know, and I think players that have had success. A lot of the coaches here, men and women's team, have had success. They, they've enjoyed success. They won trophies. They know what it's about to win. And I think that's really important for players coming through that they're surrounded by. People people who know how to win and, and it's exciting that you know, as a club um, that there's obviously been a, a lot of thought and a lot of um, energy going into investing into time and money in, into men and women's cricket um, and with the facilities that, that are here it, it's, it, there cannot be a better time for a young cricketer to come through a club like this. You know, everybody here is passionate about the experience of Edgebaston. I mean, it is a very special experience. Whether you come here, as I say, with England, whether you come here for finals day, um, it, it is a very special place. And you know, there's lots of people here who've been here for a long time who really want you to enjoy everything about Edgebaston. Um, and as I say, that that's a that's a huge um, thing for me to come to somewhere where people are passionate about the game, they're passionate about what they do. You know, I was here last year for finals day. The atmosphere is fantastic, but. You know, the Bears want to be involved in that final. They don't want to be here supporting it and watching it. They want to be involved. They want to be here playing in both games and winning the final. And, and someone like Agar is a, is a great signing. I mean, I, I think he's, a, he's an excellent signing. He's got good experience of cricket around the world. He's obviously a proven international. Um, and I, I think he'll be a great signing. But it's, you know, they're, they're the days that you want the, the Bears to be involved with. You know, you want them involved in big days. And, and there's nothing bigger than finals day at Edgbaston. You know, whenever you come here to the ground, it, it, the history and tradition of, of the club it is fantastic. And, and you know, the, the fact that there's going to be a lot of celebrations around the team that were so successful. I mean, you know, they did something that nobody's ever done before. They, they were a fantastic team. Um, they play cricket in the right way. They're very competitive. And, and you know, hopefully those guys are going to be around during the course of the summer. And I, I think it's really good for current players to meet former players, to, to see what it means to have played for a club like this. Uh, and to understand a lot about the history and tradition, I think that's really important. You know, the members, supporters, that they 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 understand that the history and tradition. That's why they follow their team for as long as they do. And you want current players to understand what it means, what it what it means to them to be part of something that is so special. You know, there's a lot of people that would work at a stadium like this that you know they're the unsung heroes. They're not the people that are out there taking 
catches and bowling and, and, and scoring runs, there's an awful lot of people that contribute off the field to a team of 11 that go out and win trophies. And I think that's, that's the one thing, as I said, when you come here, you realise how, pe how passionate people are about the club and they're passionate about you having a good experience here. And I think that's, that's really good that the on and the off field teams work really closely together because it is about, it's entertainment and you want people to come here, enjoy watching the teams play, enjoy the success that the team have and actually feel really part of it and I think that's something that, you know, the current players, you know, have got that role to inspire people, get people to come and watch cricket and really feel part of what's, being, what's happening and what's hopefully going to be successful on the field.